region is located in the central part of the Republic of Uzbekistan with about one quarter of the total area of the country, priceously 110.99 thousand square kilometers and its population is 960,000. The nature of the region is distinctively different. The Kizilkum Desert in the northwestern part, the Nurata mountain ranges in the southeastern part, and rich with different farming fields in the shorelines of the Zarafshan River. Together with the Zarafshan River, many large water sources such as Idarkul, Shurkul, Tudakul make the nature of the region even more colorful. From ancient times, Navoi, an important place on the Great Silk Road, located in the convenient location to live on the Zarafshan River river has long been famous for its natural resources, farming and irrigation culture, cotton and silk fabrics, ceramics and other handicrafts. Navoi region is one of the youngest provinces of our republic, founded in 1992. Although Navoi is a young and green region, it has an ancient and rich history that has made a great contribution to human civilization. Today Navoi region has become a fully developed and prosperous area. At the same time, Nawai region, along with its worthy place in the socio-economic, spiritual and enlightenment life of the Republic, is carrying out enormous creative works and historical processes. More than 130 nations live in the region. The administrative structure of the region consists of two Namoi and Zarafshan cities and eight districts Karmana, Kanimeh, Kaziltipa, Navbahar, Nurata, Tamdi, Uchkuduk, and Khatirji. Navoi, Zarafshan, and Uchkuduk districts are mainly industrial enterprises operating in these regions. Karmana, Kaziltipa, Navbahar, and Khatirji districts specialize in agriculture, mainly in cotton, grain, fruit, and vegetable production. Kanimeh, Nurata, and Tamdi are the region specializing in cattle raising. Nawari region is rich in many underground and mineral resources. Total 201 deposits of minerals, 54 units of precious metals and uranium, 38 non-metallic minerals have been registered in the region. Each moment spent on the shores of Eiderkul can raise the spirit and purify the hearts by the sight of endless horizons of the lake. Involuntarily, you come to a conclusion that mankind is a part of the nature. We take everything from nature to our needs. Therefore, our humane duty is to contribute the preservation of the beautiful and unique nature of our land and to protect our species and animals. The main part of its territory is composed of the Kizilkum Desert, which is rich with an inexhaustible and incompatible resources. This land is rich with its undiscovered secrets and myths has been serving our people since the ancient times. Hello? Is that have audio? No audio? I no, guess not. Good audio. We love this country. <laughs> Don't you dear? Yes, 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 I do, love. Yes. Though Nawai is young as a region, without doubt can be said, this oasis has its long history, old roots. This place is truly one of the cradles of the ancient human civilization. Around Nawai city, many monumental sites. Sarmish Soy, which includes more than 10,000 petrographic scripts carved on cliff stones 6-7 thousand years ago. Sangbur, the place where humans had made different instruments and things from stone in the Stone Age. Uchtut, mine where silicon was mined 3,000 years ago with instruments made from deer horns and other animals' bones. These places keep informing us about the history of Uzbekistan's mining industry.